The pixels, they're so jagged. It looks horrible, doesn't it? Yeah, honestly, it's not that bad. Greetings and salutations, everyone. I'm Ekamak. This is... Dark Side Detective, and right away, I need to do something. We need to reset the game because we need to show it from absolute scratch. Anyway, graphics, high def, super high def, virtual reality, spooky vision, your machine can't run this, high def. How to play. Detective McQueen closes cases by talking to characters and solving puzzles. Left click to examine items, right click to skip dialogue. This is terrible because it is very easy to accidentally right click and skip the dialogue. Left click on inventory items for more information. Drag items into the scene to use them onto to use or onto each other to combine. McQueen can sometimes wear items. Your progress is auto saved as you play. Do not quit the game while the save icon is being displayed or your progress may be lost. You can also save manually from the in-game menu. So yeah, this is your basic point and click adventure. Uh, language auto detecting. Ooh. Yeah, let's just go with it. Wait, please corruption on. Still on. This is going nowhere. You should give up on this. You don't learn, do you? On. So then, we have six cases. Start off with Mount Alice in Wonderland. Case summary. The chief has sent me to the Jones residence. Dooley is there with further details. So yeah, this is Dark Side Detective. Just in case uh, two minutes in and I haven't said so yet. Um, I need to set something up. Something I probably should have set up earlier. Um... So there are achievements in this game. I've already gotten them so I can't really get them again on screen but I'm going to at least show you all the things that show you how you get all of those. So um yeah. Malice in Wonderland. Whoa! I almost shot you there detective. You shouldn't be sneaking around like that. Dooley, you watch me drive up. I had my siren on. You waved at me as I pulled in. I guess this place has me spooked a little, a little. So what happened here? Chief Scully just called me up and told me to get here ASAP. No details. Seven year old kid, Alice, went missing a day ago. No sign of her leaving the house. Seems to be the kind of spooky crap, I mean the kind of case you're into, detective. Great. Let's get started. So, already we have a chance of missing an achievement. We have to inspect our car. Our trusty squad car. I like to call it the Popomoto. After you, detective. You know, whenever you're standing around in this rain, stops being fun for you. Stop it! Yeah. <laughs> You can click on McQueen if you want to annoy him. And yeah, make sure you inspect the cool squad car because we can't come out after we go in. Officer Dooley, why is there a hobo dripping all over my carpet? Uh, that's Detective Francis McQueen, Miss Jones. He's here to investigate. I see. Twin Lakes finest, eh? So how can I help you, detective? Tell me about Alice. I'll love you with you, detective. I don't have many dealings with her. She has a limited conversation pool. She's seven. Exactly. A tedious age. So leave that to the nanny. She's around here somewhere. Where were you last night? Why didn't you notice she was missing? I was. Out. How wonderfully shady. Have you got an alibi? Where I was is none of your business, detective. My taxes pay a salary. They also pay for the cell and questioning room I'm going to have Dooley here take you to. Fine. 
Call this number, they'll vouch for me. Busty Bell's Booty Boutique. Classy stuff. Ah, Bell's. Fond memories. I mean, uh, where was he? A bell shop? What? He received matches. Goodbye. I've taken up enough of your time. I've got nothing further to say, detective. Kindly leave me be. I hope you don't smoke around your kid. Thankfully, detective, I am rarely around my kid. Every room, Officer Dooley has something to say, and usually it's hilarious. Whoa, these folks must be millionaires! Nice schooner. Haha, <laughs> you dummy. It's not a schooner, it's a sailboat. A schooner is a sailboat, Dooley. These are from Busty Bell's Booty Boutique. This kid didn't win out on the father stakes. So if we head upstairs, there's a telephone. One more place for a telephone. They must have run out of places to drop, I mean, put it. A place this fancy deserves something nicer than plastic flowers. So if we use the matches on the telephone, I better check Roy's alibi. Hello? Is this Bell's? Busty Bell's Booty Boutique. Busty Bell's Bosom Bordello. Busty Bell's Bonda. Yes, would have been enough. I'm a thorough woman. No question left unanswered. No desire left unfulfilled. No fancy unexplored. No. I get the picture. Are you sure? I could send you one if you like. Was a Mr. Roy Jones in your establishment last night? Couldn't say. Client confidentiality. Identities are sealed, concealed. Sometimes masks. This is a police matter. I'm Detective Francis McQueen. Frankie McQueen? Of the Dark Side Division? Yes. Tell Dooley I say hello. I'm glad this screen resolution doesn't let you make out that I'm blushing. Happy to help a friend of Dooley's. Yep, Roy Boy was in here last night. Roy Boy? Some questions, even a badge won't get you answered. Goodbye. That's all I need for now. If you find yourself needing anything else, just pop on by. Oh boy, the humour of this game is on point. But also, it's mildly reminiscent of Haven in this early part. This reminds me of my own grandfather. Your grandfather was a clock? What? No, he had a clock. Shame. I thought I'd finally found out something interesting about you. What? I'm interesting! Whatever you say, detective. This is basically like, what if Phoenix Wright's partner was Gumshoe instead of Maya? So, if we try to get into study, it's locked. I wonder where I'd find a key. But we can get into the closet. Black light bulb, might as well take it. Now all we need is a disco ball, some white clothes and fat beats, then we've got ourselves a good night. The good night is finding this kid. All the other junk is useless junk. Did you follow me into this closet? You may have needed backup. Does it seem odd to you that these folks don't have a kitchen or a bathroom? The recession hit us all hard, Dooley. One of those crystals is worth more than we get paid in a year. We could take one. You, uh, you passed the corruption test. Well done, detective. How can I help you, detective? Mr. Jones, I want access to your study. I'd love to help Detective, but I seem to have misplaced the key, sorry. I could have sworn that you can talk to him about finding out that his alibi passes, but maybe I shouldn't have checked this study first. Now then, the master bedroom or the daughter's bedroom? Okay, this'll be worth it. Tell me where she is, bear! I'm only kidding. You don't know. You're only a bear. A stupid, no-nothing bear. 
This is a lot of pink. I think I'd have run off too. A drawing of our suspect. Really? I put out an AVV. No, Dooley, don't do that. Hey, I know that tree. It owes me five bucks. I've never seen a horse with five legs before. I really hope that me needing to click off screen hasn't messed up the audio. Anyway, this is no time for art, detective. Blacklight. This looks useful. Blacklight marker. I don't have much use for a dozen pink socks. Hello, can I ask- My baby, my baby is gone! Can you tell me about- uh, She just disappeared, my baby! Is there anything- You have to find her! Goodbye. Find her! Very productive conversation. We found out a lot about her. I, I didn't want to go up to the attic. I want to go to the master bedroom. Hard to believe this is the same woman we spoke to. The stress of all this has hit her hard. That nanny is beautiful! Ask her if she's single. You know, it's part of the investigation. She seems like a sweet kid. Don't worry, we'll find her, detective. Tell me about Alice. She's spoiled and sticks her nose where it doesn't belong. Nanny McFeen. But that's what having super rich parents will do to you, I guess. What's the nanny doing in the master bedroom? Nothing suspicious, that's for sure. No siree. How long have you been working for the Jones? Jones is detective. Even though it ends with an S, you still pluralize it. Is now really the best time? It's always a good time for grammar. Anyway, answer the question. Long enough to harbor no ill will whatsoever. Say, so you're the nanny. The very innocent nanny, yes. Do you have keys for the various rooms? I am a nanny, not a maid. Right. But do you? Yes. May I have the key to the study then? I oh no, I right clicked! <sighs> I need to move my finger away from there. Goodbye. We're done here, for now. I'll get back to work. And nothing else. So yeah, whenever that happens, I'm going to have to go back later, re-record, and show what that scene is. I hope I get... Why did it have to be right-click? The escape key would have been a much better pick. Now, if we check out the bed. A water bed. Very fancy. Looks like something has been kicked under here. No, it doesn't. You received the strange page. Seems impolite to go rifling around in someone's drawers uninvited. Alice and her mum looking quite happy here. The dad isn't though. Anyway, um, we want to go to... Oh, so what I was saying earlier with the matches, calling Busty Bell's Boutique, that's another achievement. But another, another achievement if we use the study key here, then check out the magazine stack here. His magazine collection. Jeez, this guy is obsessed with jugs. Jugs Weekly, another lovely pair. I swear the game isn't horny, it's just really got a few, one too many dirty jokes in the first episode. Nice collection of books that just suggest they've not been looked at in some time. For shame. So yeah, um, we have to inspect one... We have to inspect our cop car in almost every episode from 1 to 6. And we have to find a magazine in episode 1 to 6. So we're off to a good start. Roy Jones Esquire. Take a certain type of uh, person to have an oil painting of themselves. You can never trust a man who owns too many books, that's what I say. How many books are too many? 
Six? Oh. Well, according to Dooley, you shouldn't trust me. How many books do you own? I don't feel comfortable with this line of questioning. This statue is ugly enough to be worth a lot of cash. An old oil lantern. Seems to have some oil left too. Ow! Okay, we did see that one before, so what does the bookshelf say? A nice collection of books. The dust suggests they've not been looked at in some time. For shame. Hey, I just realised there are only two seats in this entire house! Don't be daft, Dooley. There are more, they're just off camera. Very casual fourth wall relationship we have here. Very casual indeed. A blacklight bulb for blacklighting things. The label says for use under blacklight. There's a peculiar pattern from the Occult for Dummies book. An old oil lantern seems to have some oil left too. Just, just double checking. Yeah, we can't ask you about Busty Bell's Booty Boutique. Those look heavy enough to knock someone out cold. As addicts go, this one is extra creepy. The pain thinner fell when the shelf gave way. Not much left in it now. We got some paint thinner. Looks like this gave way here recently, spilling paint thinner all over the wall. Just a bunch of forgotten memories. May not be broken after all. It's just a blown bulb. A box marked Anne's Broken Dreams. I hope this doesn't reveal somebody's attic shame. What the hell? Well, this doesn't look ominous at all. Okay, I seem to have everything I need. Let's get down to some spooky hijinks and redraw those missing symbols. So we use the blacklight marker and the page to figure out how we want to open this door back up again. We need this symbol, um, this symbol, and then we need the box with two missing corners. That should do it. Great. Even now is time to stop. Good time to stop doing. Well, anything really. I wonder if I can file for an early retirement. Even I'm not foolish enough to go in there with no light. So we just combined lantern with matches. I should probably light this thing. You know, just in case. Lit lantern. Okay, Dooley, let's do this. No offense, detective, but I'm going nowhere near that creep fest. I'll stand guard out here. Box marked baby's first cult robes. That label says old milk circa 1880. Why would you store that? Don't look in there, mister. That's where the three eyed rats hide. Hello, mister. Hey, kiddo. Are you here to take me home? Yep. Good. I'm hungry and the sounds from downstairs are scaring me. Yeah, let's get out of here. Not so fast, detective. Where's Dooley? That idiot. I knocked him out. I can't have you snooping around anymore, so I'm going to trap you here. At least take the girl. Oh, I intend to. I'm her legal guardian after all. It's my go my job to look after her. Especially if anything should happen to her parents. Say, for example, getting trapped in the dark side's version of their bedroom. It's where they'd be now if Alice hadn't gotten into my stuff and stupidly trapped herself up here. I figured it'd be best to lay low until you had gone. I thought you'd have given up by now. What kind of cop would give up on a missing kid? Most of the Twin Lakes PD? 
sadly, fair. So that's what this is, an inheritance scheme? You have to admit, it's fairly perfect crime. It is, actually. Even if you do get rid of me, then what? Alice knows what you're up to, she's a smart kid. If she's so smart, she'll know how to keep her mouth shut. Once Dooley wakes up, you and your scheme will be done for. Good point. I just have to, to get you to drag him in here with you. Come on. Okay, drag your friend in here. And no funny business. I'm scared, mister. It'll be okay, kiddo. Don't waste time trying to sweet talk your way out of this. Can't go back through. I have to think of something else and fast. I knew those paint buckets were heavy enough to knock someone out. Do you remember how the door got shut down the first time? Have a taste of your own medicine. No! Well, that's that problem solvent. Come on, Alice. Let's wake up Dooley so I can tell him my pun. Pretend it's the first time you heard it, okay? Oh. Okay, mister. So the kid got into the nanny's stuff and accidentally used it to trap herself in that creepy attic? The dark side. But that's a surprisingly succinct summary of things, yeah. Shame the nanny was certifiable. She was a looker. Dooley, she was dabbling in the dark arts. With a plan to trap innocent people in a parallel world, kidnap their kid, and steal all their cash. I said it was a shame, jeez. I wonder where the occult, where the nanny got the occult books from anyway. That stuff is hard to find these days. Case for another day, I guess. First of all, we have to figure out what kind of paperwork covers this mess. So, what was the scene that I skipped? We need to go through again, because I do need to see that one scene. Um, it was when we asked her about the keys, but also we need to ask... Okay, so we head in. Officer Dooley, why is there a hobo? Where were you? We have matches. We can use the matches on the telephone. Client confidentiality. Okay, so if we talk to you... Uh, no, it doesn't do anything. What if I give you the matches? Seems like a bad idea to me. So yeah, generic. Don't to ask this type stuff. Okay, keep my finger away from the right mouse button. You're the nanny. Very innocent nanny, yes. Do you have keys for the various rooms? I am a nanny, not a maid. Do you? Yes. May I have the key to the study then? Sure, there's nothing incriminating in there anyway. So yeah, I was one conversation beat away and I failed. Anyhow, um, until next time guys, take care. We'll see you all around.